use Koala Go Pro to teach my classes. So what I did was I spent time at the very beginning um, working on putting my books, my lessons into Koala Go. So here I'll take you to my book two. <clears throat> what I have is, so this is lesson 2.5. So I have all my tiles in here. I have keyword pictures listed in here. And then for each lesson, I have, um, well, I do the bulk of my work here with my student. I invite my student here. It has video and audio over here. So this is where I build my words and our word chaining where they spell with tiles because you just drag and drop and you can build words like that and then you can easily delete them. My students really like it like this because they start to decode the words as I am building them to read. And that includes the nonsense words too. And then when it comes to read the word through the word frame, I took that and I made it a little bit more fun, putting a little theme on each lesson. This one's kind of a Pac-Man theme so they can read the word and then they come over here and they can take it and add the pictures to the mat, I guess. Um, after they have read those words. Then I have our read phrases in here. And I just already pre-typed those up, stuck them, you know, on top of each other so we can read the who phrases, the did what phrases, and the where phrases like that. <clears throat> and then our sentences are here. And we have a pencil so I can or the student can mark up the sentences as we read them. And then this is our create longer words together, just like the phrases, they're all stacked on top of each other. Um, and then I added the extra practice pages in here too, because I like to do those with my students instead of sending them home as homework. But I have all of book two here. Um, so you can see all of my different pages that I've already made. Um, I do have activities in the marketplace on Koala Go. So if you wanted this activity, you can buy this activity. Um, I did change words in it due to copyright issues. But, um, you know, they are all words that go along with each of the lessons. And then I also have in the marketplace my framework, which is basically the slides that don't have any information on them, um, like the Create Longer Words Together. It's blank post-it notes, so you take your book and you type in the nonsense words on that page. <clears throat> the extra practice pages are empty, but the formatting is all there. So all you have to do is click in and type the information. Same with the read phrases. So that's my book two. I also have <clears throat> um, down here, I have uh, book three. I had to separate book three into two sections. In book four, I had to separate into three, and then I'm working on book five. Um, but as you can see up here, all of my kids have their own classrooms. So um, I can take you into, here, let me take you into Reed. He's my son. Where's Reed's at? Here's Reed. Um, so as they're working through their lesson, um, Oh, he just started this one, so it doesn't show. Um, what it does, let me get, let me get hers. Um, what it does is I leave off, when our time is up, I just leave off at wherever we were. And they can, if I need to go back, it's all right here. You can see what she has already done and read. Um, on the Read a Story page, um, when they're virtual, I upload a screenshot of the story onto that page and they read that for me there. So that's how I have um, 
my koala go. Oh, it's taking a while to load. Um, there it is. Um, that's how I have my koala go, um, classrooms set up. So when it comes time for Maggie's lesson, I just bring up her classroom. It has us right where she needs to be. Um, I pull out my book, I pull out my tracking page for her and we just, um, do a little bit of review, do a little, uh, phonological awareness, and then we get started right here in the Koala Go classroom. Um, if I need to use the web browser for something, I can do that here. And then they do have a playground in Koala Go too that the students love to do. It's sort of like Minecraft where you can dig and build and jump. You can change your avatar, all of that kind of fun stuff. So this is the reward that my kids get at the end of the lesson. So that is basically how I use Koala Go Pro. They do have an invoicing system too for payments. If you want to do that, you can do that. You can just create an invoice. Um, you fill out all the information, the details. They do have fees. They go, they go through Stripe. So there is a Stripe fee and there is a Koala Go fee. Um, you can either add the fees to the invoice or you can pay them yourself. So you can do that too to take care of payments as well as um, using it for your classroom. So that's how I use Koala Go Pro.